Hebrew searches. This podcast is for users who have a basic knowledge of accordance and some familiarity with the Hebrew language. Interested in reading the Hebrew Bible? How about one of the Dead Sea Scrolls in its original language? Or one of the Targumim in Aramaic? Accordance offers its users all this and much, much more. Semitic languages offer some interesting challenges to biblical scholars. Different alphabets, unusual scripts, prefixes, suffixes, and so on. However, Accordance meets these challenges admirably. In this podcast, we'll cover the basics of Hebrew searching and amplification, along with a survey of the resources available for students of Semitic languages. Accordance has a wide range of Hebrew texts, many of which include full grammatical tagging. Consider this example, Genesis 1-1 from the Hebrew Bible. Well, what you see is this. There's even more information hidden behind it, like this. Accordance allows you to search both what you can see and what you can't. Notice that accordance even treats the prefixes and suffixes separately from the main word, as for example, in Bereshit. In addition to the Hebrew Bible, Accordance offers a full range of original language texts for study in Semitic languages, rabbinics, even the Dead Sea Scrolls. Those texts listed in white are fully tagged, while those shaded in blue still untagged. The variety of secondary sources is equally impressive, from a wide array of standard lexicons and word books like these, to classic and contemporary grammars like these. On the right, you can even see how I've organized my grammars into a single folder in General Tools. In fact, Accordance even offers high-resolution images of a number of the Dead Sea Scrolls. They're crisp enough to actually use for translation, as you can see from this example of 1Q Isaiah. Accordance offers three different kinds of original language searches. The root search, indicated by the plus sign, searches for the base form of a word, usually a trilateral root, and every word and form derived from it or containing it. This is the widest search possible. The second search is a search for the lemma. It's the lexical or dictionary form of a word in all of its declensions, if it's a noun, and all of its conjugations, if it's a verb. This is the most common search and accordance is default. Finally, there is the inflected search, indicated by quote marks around the word. It means this particular string of Hebrew radicals or characters. Now note that this word has a different meaning in accordance than it may have had in your Hebrew class. It does not mean an exact conjugation of a particular root. It means a specific string of Hebrew radicals. That means that an accordance inflected search will find homographs, words that have identical character strings but different roots or conjugations. Either a lemma or an inflected search can be modified and made exact by adding an equal sign. An exact search includes vowel pointing, the dagesh, and final forms, though it still ignores cantillation. You can just place an equal sign either before the lemma or inside the quotes and before the inflected word. These same types of Hebrew searches are used when amplifying. Here are the keyboard shortcuts used when amplifying to the resource palette. Select the word or phrase, Press the appropriate modifier keys, then click to open the top text or tool, click and drag to select a different resource. Any of these searches can be used for text or tools, save the last two phrase searches, which can only be used with texts. And of course, Accordance's full array of search commands, search symbols, and grammatical tags are available for precise, fast searching of all of these resources. Accordance even includes a Hebrew character palette for typing Yehudit, our custom Hebrew font. Just type Option Command 6 to display it. You can also enter Hebrew directly from your keyboard. Here's a keyboard map to guide you. If you've installed Accordance from a disk, rather than downloading it, you probably already have this on your computer. Otherwise, you can download it directly from the Accordance website. Either way, just search for Fonts PDF. The file contains keyboard layouts of all of the Accordance fonts. It's time to do some Hebrew searches for ourselves in Accordance. Accordance makes it easy to work with Hebrew text, no matter what your level of expertise. Move your cursor over any word to see it parsed in the ID box. Hold the Command key to see its definition in your favorite lexicon. You'll also be glad to know that you can parse an entire verse with nothing more than a single click 
and diagram a sentence just as easily. Like so. Today's podcast is on searching Hebrew texts, so let's look at examples of the three basic search types. Since we're already here at Genesis 1-1, let's use it as our text. The first search we're going to do is a root search for bara. I'll hold down the control key, click it, and put search for root. Notice that the plus sign appears here in the search entry box along with the trilateral root, Beit, Resh, Aleph, and that we found 71 hits. If I click the details button, you can see here that Accordance has found seven different forms. Included in its search are the three different verbs that share this same trilateral root, two proper names, Beri and Beriah, as well as two nouns, fat and creation. Now let's turn off the recycling so we can come back to this tab. We'll go back to our main text and we'll do the second kind of search. Since it's a search for the lemma of bara, I can easily just click this search icon on my resource palette. Notice that Accordance has automatically entered the equal sign as well as the indicator that it's only searching for one particular variation of this trilateral root. And here we have 48 different hits. If I select bara like this and amplify it to the concise dictionary of classical Hebrew, You'll notice that I have the definition here, and it tells me that in the Hebrew Bible, bara, or at least bara number one, occurs 48 times, 38 times in the kal stem, as well as 10 times in the nephal stem. And of course, if I click that and return to my search, I notice, yep, 48 hits. I'll click off the recycling here and return to the text again. The third search I'm going to do is for the inflected form of bara. In this case, notice that Accordance has added the quotation marks around the Hebrew root as well as an equal sign inside of that. That means that we're looking here for the exact Hebrew form, this one right here. And notice that in this case, that is exactly what Accordance has found, five different hits. Now, if I turn off the recycling here and I duplicate this tab, I'd like you to see what happens if we remove this equal sign and just search for the inflected form of bara. Notice that we have 20 hits here and that it includes different vocalizations. For instance, bero in Genesis 5.1, as well as bera'am, that would be bara with the third masculine plural suffix. So let's review. We've done four different searches. We've searched for the root, indicated by the plus sign, and found 71 hits. We've searched for the exact lemma, indicated by the equal sign and the trilateral root with the number one. We have searched for the inflected form, indicated by the quotation marks, and we've searched for the exact inflected form, indicated by quotation marks and the equal sign. There's one other thing I'd like to show you before we leave this particular demo. And that is the way that Accordance separates out the prefixes and suffixes when we search for, for example, a single word. We'll search for the lemma in this case, and notice that Accordance has separated out the bet from the reshit. That's true for individual words as well as, for example, if we search for a phrase like hashemayim la'aretz ha'aretz. If we search for this, notice once again that Accordance has broken out the definite article here, the coordinating conjunction here, the definite article again here, and so on. I trust this podcast has inspired some of you to dust off your old Hebrew skills and put them to good use. You'll find working with this challenging language a joy in Accordance. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp.